Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for my first ever mod showcase. And uh, as you can see, we are in a vehicle and it is definitely not a Rockstar interior. It is, in fact, a Mustang interior. We are going to be showcasing none other than this bad boy. It is the Ford Mustang GT500 from Need for Speed, which is the Need for Speed movie. And this car is fucking amazing. Whoever modded this vehicle done a really, really good job of it. I will be leaving the link down in the description below if anybody want to go and download it. Uh, but what we're going to be doing in this video is obviously customising it and reviewing it. The same sort of thing as what I would do with obviously a Rockstar DLC release. Um, I'll be taking it into the customs, I'll be customising it and we'll be taking it for a little spin. So here we go my bros, as you pull into LS Customs you'll see this Mustang is in the supercar category. Wow. So hopefully this is going to be quick, as it being in the supercar class, it's got to be quick man, got to be. But anyway, we're going to start this build with 100% body armour, we're going to go bodywork. So at the minute you can see we've got a nice wide body kit attached to this vehicle at the minute, as stock. And we can go for more of a classic Shelby, Shelby GT500 look, if we really want to, make it look more like a Dominator I suppose. Um, but that means we're going to have to change out this front bumper, and also this rear bumper. Not sure if I want to change it. I actually really like the wide body on it, but I think for the sake of the video, we are just going to go with. We'll go with one of them. We'll go with. Uh, we'll go with this window vent to start with. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. We're going to start with. Like I said, we did have a wide body on this, so we are going to have to change that front bumper because you can see it's not clipping together as what it should do. And then we move on to it. That actually looks quite nice, you know. And I'm not, not actually too disappointed with that. Even though I really like the wide body kit on it. This doesn't look all that bad. Again, the options we have look pretty sweet. Oh my god. Fucking that is lights overkill, man. What the hell? Why do you need so many lights? Fuck. That is crazy. But, you know, I know the stock version of it is the best version of it. Because... You know, it's the way it looked in the Need for Speed movie. Um, but like I said, for the sake of the build, we are going to change it up. Because you've already seen what it looks like with the wide body kit. So we are going to change it up. And I don't think I'm going to go with any of these splitters at the front. So I'm feeling maybe maybe this one. Because it gets rid of that, you know, that's, you know the splitter at the front there. So yeah, we're going to go with this bad boy. Then we're going to go to the rear bumper. Only two additional options for the rear bumper. And... Do we need it? We kind of do need it because then it clips nicely nicely with this rear fender as you can see. The wider version of it kind of bulks out a little bit too much. And I think this one's the best one so we're going to go with that. Then we're going to move on to the engine. We're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust. We do get extra options for the exhaust. We've got these nice chrome exhausts at the minute. Then we've got like a titanium exhaust. And then these big oval exhausts. I think we're going to go with the ovals, man. Let's go with that. Then we're going to go to the hood. Loads of options for the hood, man. That is fucking nice to see. That looks mean as fuck, but also looks kind of weird at the same time. That's a nice one. And as you can see, they're all called Carbon Hood. They don't have their individual names, unfortunately. Uh, we get a little block on the top there. It's not as big as the ones I'm used to seeing in GTA. So that's, uh, that's quite nice. I like the scale down big blocks on the top there. That looks pretty cool. And then we've got a massive fucking air intake on that one. I think this one was my favourite, man. So we're going to go with that. Then we're going to go to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And then we're going to go to the respray. And we don't actually get to respray it. We just get a livery option. Uh, so this is a stock livery. And that is livery one. So what's the difference? I can't see a difference. We're going to buy it. Nothing changes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to stay stock. And... Not really sure what that's all about. Shame we can't change the colour of it on it. That's um, that's a bit of a bastard. But anyway, we're going to move to the roof, and we've got obviously the stock roof, which is pretty cool. It's like a that's a sunroof, man. It's glass, which is awesome. And we can change it to this bad boy. Then we've got a carbon version, and then we've got the carbon version with the louvers. We're not going to go carbon, but we are going to go different to the stock one, and it's going to be this bad boy here. Next, we've got the skirt options. Uh, two additionals. We have we are going to have to change it because we've got a float floating fucking side skirt there at the minute and we've got the custom skirts one and then the custom skirts two I think we're going to go with the second one because that matches the nicest with the front bumper in my opinion so yeah go go with custom skirts two 
then we've got the spoiler it doesn't just change the spoiler it actually changes the the badging as well which is pretty cool i actually prefer the shelby badging rather than the mustang badging and uh uh, it actually gives us a traction increase as well, which is pretty awesome. But they, uh, you know, they look good. They look better than the Rockstar versions of any spoiler we've got, which is um, obviously good. I think this is probably the best looking one, in my opinion, because I am very simplistic. Uh, although this pro this actually looks really good because it goes the full length of the car, where this one doesn't, does it? Yeah, well, it does. Sorry, yeah, it does go the full length. This one's a little bit bigger. I think that looks nice as well. That one doesn't actually look too bad on this vehicle, even though I don't really like the high-level spoilers like that usually. That looks pretty cool too. So they all look really good, um, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Then we're going to go to the suspension. I'm going to get the competition suspension. Then we're going to go transmission, get the race transmission, turbo. We're going to grab the turbo tuning for the wheels. At this point, guys, I am going to say I have added a replacement mod onto my rims. Not all of them, just the high-end and the sports rims. So they are going to look a lot better. So what I've done, I've just replaced the coden for a modded coden. So I'm, I've actually got real life wheels in the game. Even though the ones I've got on this Mustang at the moment are pretty fucking sweet. We are going to change them out. So we're going to start with a high end. I'm just going to quickly show you, not all of them, but just a, just a handful. And they're not going to stay blue, by the way. <laughs> I can change that. And so as you can see, the first lot are Lambo wheels you can see the little Lambo emblem in the middle which is pretty fucking sweet so these have all got oh the calipers clipping through that that's not good so these have all got like the original Rockstar names um, unfortunately it would have been nicer if the names had changed but like I said it's a replacement mod so it just replaced the textures which were originally there so the uh, the file name is the same but they look different but I, I have noticed this only on some vehicles that caliber clips through the, the rim which is really weird it must just be how, how the wheel um, base is uh, I'm not really sure what it, what causes it but it does do it on some wheels see they're the deep dish ones I mean they've pulled right in I mean I think it's the way the wheel actually marries up with the car because it, it's different from, from car to car even though these Oz, Oz rims look fucking sweet as hell man I actually really do dig them they look nice we've got some really nice options like I said these are all real life wheels and then we go to the carbon solar which is the rockstar wheel I don't know why those carbon wheels on the high end haven't changed but then we've got the stock um, sorry not we haven't got the stock we've got the sports wheels which have also got a texture change and there's some really nice options on this also right so I think I've made my decision I'm gonna go with these BBS rims the caliper is clipping a little bit through the rim but not enough to put me off and they have got like a weird tint of blue at the minute so we could go wheel color and change that to alloy and hopefully they'll go more of a chrome color which they do fucking awesome and whilst we're here guys we are going to go into tires and purchase the bulletproof tires and to finish off the build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so yeah my dudes there is the ford mustang from need for speed in gta and uh Obviously, I don't think it looks as nice as what it does as stock because, you know, the the stock version of it is the wide body version. This is more this is more of the stock version of it. Uh, you know, the the smaller, you know, non wide version of it, shall we say? But anyway, that is the GT five hundred modded and customized in GTA five story mode. Of course, can't take it into online because I don't want to get banned. But it being in the supercar class, you can feel it fucking pulls, man. It is so quick off the line. You can, look, it just skips through the gears so quickly. And we're at 120 already. 120 already. Is it going to go faster? I think it is. Oh, my God. I'm running out of space. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Well, let's try that again. Got a little bit of open road here through the middle. Through the middle. Oh, my word. That's not going to work. But the handling on it feels really good as well. It sounds awesome. Obviously, I think they've used the Dominator sound for this because it does sound very much like a Dominator. But now we're on the highway, we can open it up a little bit and see if we can push for, what, 130 maybe? It's creeping up. It's definitely creeping up there. It's hard to keep an eye on the road and the speedo at the same time. Oh, we're past it. We're past it. We're, we're going for 150. We're going for 150. Running out of fucking space. Still going. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the speedo and the road at the same time on that. But I think it's safe to say that this bad boy would reach 150 miles an hour, which is fucking ridiculous. Especially compared to every other car in the game. Probably only reaches 120 at the max. But yeah, man. This, um, this mod is awesome. Anybody on PC, I highly recommend going and downloading this mod if you haven't already. It's got loads of custom... Well, not loads. It's got enough customization to make you know, a couple of different variations of it and it is quick as hell and obviously you get it for nothing you know, what's, what's more important than that but anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy my first PC mod showcase video on this channel and if you did, please smash a like and if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content like this and until next time, I'm out Adios